distinguished speakers. Colombia is a wonderful place. Now, you might think I'm biased because I am actually from Colombia, but I am almost positive I'm going to persuade you about that, and I'm going to convince you that Colombia is indeed a wonderful place. First of all, it's located on the equator, which is perfect for having um, a variety of fruits and vegetables and flowers. And actually, the weather in Colombia is pretty immut immutable. It's the country of eternal spring. Can you imagine living in a place like that? With anywhere you, you turn, you will see flowers everywhere. You will be wrapped with the smells of the wonderful flowers there and just will be captivated by the hues of greens, especially in the coffee areas, and also by all this rainbow of flowers that I, I described. The colors in Colombia are so intense, it's almost walking into a painting. It's almost surreal. Though um, you, you can find different types of climate, but you have to, you have to mutate your location to experience that. You have to go to the coast if you want to experience warm weather, or you can go to the mountains. So as an example, let's think about the coffee region, where you can hear the chirping or all of the birds, because there is where the most variety of birds is in that area. And then you can um, experience the coolness of that weather over there. Then. You can go to the coast where you can experience the warm breeze, the roaring of the ocean. Imagine that. You can be fanned by the, um, by the palm trees that are just softly caressed by the breeze. Now, I just went to Colombia last week, and we have a saying there. The saying is, you have to have breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a burger, right? Well, I have to confess that I had breakfast like a king, lunch like a king, and dinner like a king. I had to eat, especially, all the wonderful fruits that you can find there. These fruits are really, I can't find them anywhere else. I am not sure why, but the variety of fruits there, I would like for you to experience a taste of. So the first day that I, I arrived there during breakfast time, my mom said, Carol, come for breakfast. And I came to the table and I was just like shocked with the colors of all the fruits. And it was like going back to my childhood. The first fruit I, I requested my mom to ho have it for me was a granadilla. And I have a picture here. Um, it's very small, so I, can, I cannot uh, pass it around because I will need it to show it the fruits. But it's, this granadilla is the size of an orange. It's yellow as well, uh, or orange color. The shell is hard, and then you open it, and the, you will find green seeds that are sweet, and it's just like eating, um, a, have you heard, mana or, or, or ambrosia. Um, and it's also an elixir for the digestive system. It's really like a medicine. The second fruit I tried was the guanabana. Have you ever heard of guanabana? Mm -hmm. Let me show it to you. It's the size of a papaya. It's um, full of seeds, but the seeds are wrapped with this um, heaven-like, or actually it's like a cloud that wraps it around. It's really good. It has a tangy taste, and uh, you can make juice with it if you add some sugar on it, and it's absolutely wonderful. Then lulo is the third fruit, and it's more popular and more common in other countries. Um, hold on, and it's, um, it looks like passion fruit a little bit. It's the size, it's a little bit smaller than passion fruit. It's actually a little bit sour, and you must eat it with sugar. But the combination is wonderful as well. Um, the, the next fruit I tried, was the mamoncillo. It is very small, it's almost like a key lime, and 
And I would say it's one of those fruits that, or one of those foods that leaves you a little bit unsatisfied because you have to eat a lot of them to <laughs> feel satisfied. Because it's a very big seed and the cover uh, is very difficult to detach. So you are, you, it's not a polite fruit to eat. It's not a, it's not a fruit to eat at a visit because you are going to have to suck it on it. But it's absolutely different from everything you've tried. And the last one I wanted to share with you that you certainly won't find easily unless you go to Colombia is the guama. Guama is a long fruit and is, it also has a shell. It's very, very rare. Even in Colombia, it's really difficult to find. It's not a fruit that you can farm. So it's basically a wild fruit. And the seeds are covered by velvet. It's, the texture is like eating velvet, sweet velvet. It's absolutely wonderful. So um, I would say that this wonderful weather in Colombia, this eternal spring, provides you a heaven-like experience when you go into a gastronomical tour <laughs> to that wonderful country. Thank you.